I was so excited to visit Montana. This trip was in the works for a while and I'm so glad we finally got a chance to visit because Big Sky blew my mind. I've never really been to the Midwest or had that much interest in nature to be honest until I started skiing. And Big Sky is one of the biggest mountains in the US. It totally lives up to its name. But what I discovered is that there's actually so much to see and do outside of just skiing and snowboarding. We spent a jam-packed week in Montana and I feel like we only touched the surface of all the fun things that there are to do here. We flew from New York to Bozeman and picked up our rental car at the airport. Uh, from Bozeman, it's about an hour's drive south to reach Big Sky. We stayed right on the resort in a one bedroom condo. Here's a little tour and I love the view of the mountain right from our bedroom window. The condo itself was a little older, but it was ski and ski out, which is amazing. I've never stayed in ski and ski out accommodation before, and I don't know how I'm gonna go back to regular hotels after this. It's definitely a treat. Took a little nap and just woke up. Um, it's time for dinner. We're gonna try this Montana yurt experience. It's like dinner in the forest in a yurt, and I think we take a snow cat to get there. So we're just waiting for everyone else to join and then we're gonna head out. Riding the snowcat was fun. They're basically these truck-sized calves that move on snow. Um, I'm pretty sure they're what they use to groom the trails on the mountain uh, overnight. And you can sit inside or up top. I went up and they're definitely loud. Feel free to head on inside. I'll be a little seating arrangement there for you. And there'll uh, be some French onion soup. Our second day was dedicated to skiing. Big Sky is a huge mountain. It's actually composed of three different resorts that were combined together. So you have Andesite in the center, Moonlight Basin on the east, and Spanish Peaks on the west. And together they form over 5,800 skiable acres with a vertical drop of nearly 4,400 feet, 
it's massive. I definitely felt like skiing here was a challenge, but a fun challenge. Um, and we also got really lucky with the weather. We visited right after a huge snowstorm early in the season. Um, but no matter when you visit, Big Sky should be pretty good conditions because they get over 400 inches of powder a year. I skied all day from first year to last, and I felt like I only scratched the surface of what the mountain has to offer. The lifts, they're so high tech. You can really tell that Big Sky is investing a lot in the infrastructure. I spent the first half of the day around Swift Current and Ram Charger. These are the two high speed lifts closest to Mountain Village. And Ram Charger in particular seats up to eight people and is the most technologically advanced lift in the country. It's got heated seats, automatic safety bars that go up and down, and it's super high speed. A local was telling me she can squeeze in eight to 10 runs in an hour because the lifts are so fast. And what I really liked is that the runs are really nice and long and wide. Um, so after she said that, I timed myself, but I only managed to get in like three or four. Big Side definitely gets pretty cold too, so I think the heated bubble was, was a nice touch. Um, I wore about like four to five layers uh, because it was about 10 degrees on our trip. And then in the afternoon, I took a lesson. The instructor taught me a bit about skiing on Grim Snow. Um, we tried some of the tree runs on the Moonlight Basin side. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. On day three, we went dog sledding. We woke up early, got some coffee in the lobby, and then drove over to meet the dogs. Uh, the company is a family-owned business. They rotate between Alaska and Montana throughout the year. And some of the dogs even race the Iditarod up in Anchorage, that famous dog sledding race. Time to go. Thanks for coming out today. Um, First, we got an overview of how the sleds worked and you can actually request to drive one of them, which I think is really fun. And then we help the team uh, get set up. First, the handlers take the dogs out of the kennel one by one. Then they put on harnesses and then we helped hitch them to the sled lines. The dogs are clipped in place at two spots by the collar and near the butt. And it was so fun helping them set up. The dogs kind of run all around and they get tangled up in the line. So you definitely have to be quick. It's funny, huskies really love to run and they get very antsy about it. So it's all very chaotic and loud. So loud here. <laughs> Wait, they're running by themselves? Yeah. Oh, the guy's in back of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then from what I understand, they put the two smartest dogs in front to act as the leads. And the two dogs at the back need to be really strong ones because they pull most of the weight and then they fill in the lines in between with four to six more dogs. And it's fun, you lay down in the sled, we did a fun loop through the forest, we saw the mountains. <laughs> they run funny. <laughs> we took a couple breaks to give the dogs a rest, and there was also some traffic jams. And I even got a chance to drive the sled at the end. So yeah, super fun morning. For dinner, we headed into town. Um, there's a lot of shops. Um, there's like art galleries, restaurants. We checked out Lotus Pad, which is pretty famous in the, t in the area for Thai food. I've always wanted to learn how to fly fish and Montana is famous for it. So naturally I had to try it while we were here. The Gallatin River runs right near Big Sky and it's apparently one of the best places for fly fishing in the lower 48. The movie A River Runs Through It was filmed here and I asked our guide why it's so popular and he said it's because the rivers around Montana are really high quality, there's less pollution and also a lot of diversity in the type of trout. The reason for having the line in your finger is twofold. We've made our cast upstream. I'm going to then begin removing the slack via stripping the line below my finger. Then we um, drove out, pulled over on the highway and got to work. Unfortunately for us, it was not the easiest weather to learn. It was quite cold and it was snowing. Um, so the guide recommended springtime. He said people have caught up to 20 fish in one outing uh, when the weather's a little better. It was actually so cold that the line kept freezing and we'd have to flick off the ice every five minutes or so. 
I realized fly fishing requires a lot of patience, but eventually I caught one. Turn him towards me. Success. Help beat that guy. Is. I got one. <laughs> I caught a whitefish. There's also brown and rainbow trout, I believe. Um, yeah, definitely recommend giving fly fishing a go. And for dinner, we booked another fun experience. We took a horse-drawn sleigh ride through Lone Mountain and ate inside an oil-lit cabin. Everything was served family style. There was so much food. It was definitely one of the best meals of the trip. And of course, there was live music. Throughout the week, we squeezed in time to ski whenever we could. Um, there's so many trails here, I feel like you could easily spend two weeks and still have more to try. As for runs, I liked Calamity Jane, Lobo, Africa, and Congo. Those are just nice, wide open blue groomers. If you're looking to dip your toe into tree skiing, um, try Lizette off the Andesite mountainside. And if you don't mind slightly slower lifts because you want the trails to yourself, head to either the Moonlight Basin area or the runs around Southern Comfort. These are both slightly more remote and you can definitely feel like you're the only one skiing the entire trail. Um, actually, the whole week I was really amazed by how uncrowded the mountain felt. I think because Big Sky is just so massive, even though there are you know, definitely people visiting, you can really easily find a quiet trail to yourself. And finally, food. Big Sky has tons of restaurants on site. There's Vista Hall, which is a uh, brand new food hall to grab coffee or a quick lunch. The breakfast burritos here are solid. Um, there's also Carabiners for like Asian fusion um, and Montana Jacks for burgers and beers. And on the mountain, go to Everett's. It's right off Ram Charger Lift. The lodge is stunning here. It has a huge window overlooking the mountain and also a great selection of cocktails um, and food. And yeah, Big Sky was so fun. You definitely have to get out there. Um, I think this is my favorite mountain that I've skied to date. 